Hi, I'm Dan Cordopassi. Welcome to Model Building Tips. In this episode, I'm going to talk about how I fixed a derailment issue with Nicole's HO Scale Hogwarts Express train. A few years ago, I got Nicole her own train, an HO Scale Bachmann Hogwarts Express set. It included a 460 steam locomotive and three coaches. This is a nice looking set, but the Bachmann Hogwarts Express 460 locomotive has been derailment prone since we got it. The front wheels tended to jump the track. We usually run this train at Christmas time on temporary layouts built with Kato Unitrack. At first we thought the problem was due to the unevenness of our tile floor where we set up the track in years past. In 2022 we decided to change things up and put the layout on a table. The flat surface definitely helped, but the locomotive still derailed often enough that it made it difficult to just let the train run. It took a little experimentation, but I came up with a simple fix. The pilot truck is held on with a single screw and a washer. There's a spring that puts some downforce on the pilot truck to keep the wheels on the track, but it's very soft. This washer came out of my scrap box, so I'm not sure of the exact size, but it's about as big around as a dime. I'm placing the new washer on top of the pilot truck. Then I'll reinstall the spring in the pilot truck so that the spring is now pushing against the washer instead of directly against the truck. The washer compresses the spring a little to make it stiffer. It also adds a little weight to the pilot truck. Both of these things help keep the front wheels on the track. I found that it's important not to over tighten the screw that holds the truck in place. On this model anyway, if it's too tight it has a tendency to make the front wheels of the pilot truck lift a little. This will tend to make it derail. I found the sweet spot was to tighten the screw all the way then back it out about a half a turn. Since I did this the engine hasn't derailed. And that's it. All there is to it. Sometimes fixing a mechanical issue with the model train is a matter of spending the time to figure out why something's happening and then coming up with a simple fix. I'm really glad I was able to get this engine to run reliably. If you like this video, then please like and subscribe. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.